hey loves so this is how i transform my room from this ugly looking wall to something really nice i had um i told my dad to give me three curtains light curtains like this and i have about three of them and these are the pins i'm going to use to pin them on the wall i really don't know why i brought the nail but i ended up not using the nail i had to um i had to hit get hammer to hit those pins with the curtains on the wall i was trying to give a very nice interior look i've not been able to paint my room because this part of my room this wall section um get to be wet and i was advised not to paint it yet else i wouldn't like the results so there is something the plumber has to do i've uh, been trying to reach out to the caretaker but no response from the caretaker so i decided to give my room a, a very nice look without painting because i want to use this part of my room for creating content so i was just tapering the curtains like giving on layers trying to fold them to give this layered look like how um, um it comes out in um in events where interior decorators do this yeah so i actually did a training about six seven years ago during my summer holiday i did an interior decoration um training and events planning so i just had to go through this and i hope you like the result this is how I was hammering the pin to the wall. This is the second part of the cutting. I'm done with the first one. I had to use a white in the middle, then the um, cream color or the nude will be the third part of, of the decoration. So it took me some hours to to heat and I had to come down to pick up my pin to continue heating and heating. I came back from work on a Monday. I came, out, I came back from work and decided to just give this a shot. I didn't want to wait for my for the weekend because I had a lot of content to edit and create. So we've gotten to the third part of the decoration. I had to split it into two because I didn't want the other part of the curtain to to be out or close to the door so i had to like layer the first part of the wall i had to like put a layer on it so that it won't be so transparent now we're done it's time for the flowers I would like to say the fake plants yeah it's time for the fake plants i i have to like install the fake plants now i'm done with the curtains and i'm trying to measure or give myself how i want how i want it to look i want it to fall you know fall down like have this um waterfall look taking each of them and i'm um nailing it in in half on the wall and then it's in half on the wall and i feel this look is going to be really really nice once i'm done
I was unable to press the curtains or iron the curtains before installation so I had to get my iron plug it and I ironed my curtains against the wall yes i did that because there was no other way i didn't want to take it off the wall after my hard work so i had to improvise by getting a cable or an extension box close to me and i plugged my iron and you know this is me pressing it down to give this smooth finishing For the bottom of the curtains, I had to get my ironing board so that I can lift the curtains up and easily press them to be smooth. So that's all I did here and I just feel like um, it being rough wasn't looking all that good and I had to like press them out, press, press the curtains to be really smooth, yeah. Now can you see how smooth the curtains look or the material, look at how smooth it looks unlike um, the previous one, it looked rough. So the next one will be my light. I'm going to take, I got this light from a store on Jumia as well as the fake plants. Yeah, I got the both of them from Jumia and I'm going to put the link in my description box. So this light is what I'm going to use as my final finishing. I'm going to attach it to the wall and that's what I'm doing right now. And I, I, just, I just have a belief that it's going to come out really nice. So I'm tapering it. I had to like put it, it has this curtain um, design. So I put the top, the top row, you know, at the top of the curtain and I'm taking the, the um, falling, falling light um, wires around the fake plant or will I say the plant yeah I'm just like giving it this finishing just putting it around around the flower so that once it comes up it should give me a really nice look and feel so I'm unwrapping the wires and you know, loosening it down so this is how it looks when it's on this is how it looks I just wanted to see how it, how it looked and i'm kind of excited like i'm excited with this look this is gonna be my background when it comes to filming henceforth yes that's what i'm doing and i love i love the finishing look it's so nice it gives me this um i it comes with um, a remote actually the light comes with a remote and it's to regulate the sequence of the light and how the light should flow you know so there are different um levels to it and yeah on the remote so it's so 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 nice and really light i was scared while i was installing it because i felt it was going to cut you know the wires were going to cut so if you like this video kindly like subscribe and share just engage and look forward to more content with this wall this view yeah just keep looking forward to that thank you